local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, the wind and the cold, the story over the weekend and the wind has stuck with us as we've gone about our Monday peak wind gusts so far today. Upwards of 30 miles per hour for most of us. Strongest one so far today in Roanoke, 36 miles per hour. Check out Withville above tropical storm force, 43 miles per hour for the peak gust. And it does look like the wind is pretty strong still as we head into the first part of our evening. Sustained wind at about 26 miles per hour in Roanoke, 25 miles per hour in Hot Springs, matching what Hillsville is seeing at this time. We're actually going to see the wind really rapidly drop off as we go into this evening and tonight. So if you're tired of it, it does look like it's going to be leaving us pretty soon. This is the next 12 hours. You can see still seeing a third two mile per hour gust at six o'clock that goes down to 28, 18, 17, and then eventually uh, pretty calm with the winds uh, later on tonight and into the early stages of your Tuesday. But that does come at a price because once the wind does back off, that will allow the temperatures to fall faster. Our lows down into the 20s overnight tonight. Temperatures sitting in the 30s, 40s and 50s as we uh, start off our evening here. 54 degrees the current temperature in Danville. Lynchburg coming in the upper 40s, same as Roanoke, and then the low 40s being felt across the New River Valley. And of course, if you factor in the wind, it does feel colder than those marks. This evening, it looks like we're falling from the middle 40s at 7 o'clock to the upper 30s at 10 o'clock. But of course, we are losing the wind as those temperatures do fall. Eventually, we are going to see a hard freeze overnight tonight with lows down into the 20s. Wouldn't be surprised if Hot Springs actually gets down into the teens. 26 for Roanoke for the low, 24 in Lynchburg matching Danville. And then it looks like the low to mid 20s across the New River Valley. On Tuesday, the temperatures might be slightly warmer than what we're going to be, uh, what we were feeling this afternoon, getting back into the low 50s, at least in Roanoke. But we are going to have some extra clouds around, and there's the possibility maybe for a brief shower during the late part of the day and into the evening. So here's a look at what we're tracking. Uh, it's going to be chilly on Tuesday, but not quite as windy as what we've been dealing with lately. Tuesday going to be the last chilly day because the temperature is finally warming back up. Eventually, we are going to have some rain and storms to contend with by the time we get to Thursday. And it is a multi-day severe weather threat for the United States associated with the next storm system. So if you look out to the west in the plains, they have a level two risk for severe weather on Tuesday. Now that's going to shift into the deep south on Wednesday, becoming a level three severe weather risk. These are the same areas that dealt with some severe weather last week as well. And then eventually that does shift into our area. Uh, at the moment, we're mainly watching east of the parkway for potential severe storms. Here's a look at that system on Tuesday evening. We're watching this warm front because that is what's going to help us uh, trigger that warm up that I was mentioning for Wednesday. As the front moves to the east, you can see the storms really developing and uh, we're going to be watching uh, those areas to the west for their chance for severe storms. Eventually, the chance for rain is going to be increasing for our area on Thursday. And again, we could have some severe weather threats to deal with at this time, uh, watching mainly for localized wind damage, but uh, can't completely rule out the possibility for an isolated tornado or localized flooding. So here's the next 24 hours, really cold overnight tonight and not as windy as you go into your Tuesday. The temperatures back into the 60s Wednesday, 70 on Thursday but those 70s are going to come with some rain as well.